Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we will design a capacitor coupled zero crossing detector using the Multisim tool. Before going into this tutorial, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. You can refer to this circuit design calculation for your reference purpose where this has been mentioned in this tutorial how to arrive on this particular circuit. Now let us start working on this particular circuit design. So click on component and select the group as all group and type the component LM741 and place this particular LM741 in the schematic window. Next, we have to place the resistor and the capacitor. So click groups as basic and define the capacitor and place 0.015 microfarad capacitor in the schematic window. Now we have to place a resistor we require three resistor in this circuit design. So resistor R1 is around 120 kilo ohm and place this particular resistor in the schematic window. Resistor R2 is around 220 kilo ohm. So place the resistor 220 kilo ohm in the schematic window. Next resistor R3. which is 1.8 kilo ohm. So place these three particular resistor as shown in this tutorial. Next, we have to select the source. So click on VDD and place this particular supply voltage source on the schematic window and place VSS also on this schematic window. Next click on signal voltage source and select the pulse voltage. Now click on source and place the ground connections across the voltage source and across resistor R1 and resistor R3. Now double click on voltage source VDD, define the voltage as 12 volt, double click on voltage source VSS, define the voltage as minus 12 volt. Now connect the negative terminal to the ground and the positive terminal to the capacitor C1. From the capacitor C1 connect this to terminal number 3 of the op amp and the resistor between the capacitor and the op amp. Now connect the VDD and connect this to the terminal number 7 and the resistor R2. Connect the resistor R2 to resistor R3 and from resistor R3 to the ground. Now connect the terminal number 2 of the op amp to the resistor R3 and from the terminal number 4 to the supply voltage that is minus 12 volt. Double click on the voltage source, define the initial value as 6 volt, pulsed value as 6, raise time as 1 nano, stop time as 1 nano. Next click on simulate and place the oscilloscope on the schematic window. Now click on ground and place the ground connection across the negative terminal of channel A and channel B. Next click on channel A and connect the channel A to the oscilloscope and the positive terminal of channel B to the input of the circuit design. 
and the negative terminal of channel B to the ground. Now run this particular simulation. Uh, before that change the value of capacitor C1 to 0 0.15 microfarad. Now run this particular simulation. Now you can see the transient analysis of this particular circuit. Now click on simulate, click on analyze and simulation, click on interactive simulation and run this particular simulation. Double click on the oscilloscope, change the scale of channel A to 10 volt per division and the channel B to 5 volt per division and the time scale as 2 millivolts per division. Now you can see this particular simulation. Stop this particular simulation. Click on properties. You can see that the net name of input and the output of this particular design. Now click on analyze and simulate. Select transient. Select output. Remove and add v1 and v4 as the variable. Now run this particular simulation. You can see the transient analysis of this particular circuit. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.